Hi, this is Faith Ann Young from Mog.com. I'm here in Asbury Park, New Jersey, interviewing Nicole Adkins. This is her hometown, and she's given us a little peek. Check it out. Tell us a little bit about the significance of Asbury Park. Yeah, Asbury Park, we're at the Stone Pony right now, and uh, Bruce Springsteen made this place famous because this is where he got his start playing. And, um, you know, I grew up down the street, and I live down the street right now, and uh, I play here now, too. And I've, oh, I've been playing here since I was 14. In your new album, Neptune City, you described it as darkly uh, psychedelic. Does that have any reference to this, this kind of rebuilding and kind of awkward stage that the town's in right now? More so an appreciation for the awkward stage. You know, like in the wintertime, nobody lives here and all the buildings like are like these broken down buildings with these really beautiful crumbling facades and you know, the wintertime the fog rolls in and you're just like around all this like beautiful decay and fog and scary birds and it's very Pink Floyd. <laughs> you know, it's very dark and you know, dreamy. It's, it's a dreamy place, you know. I, I appreciate the darker elements in, in this town. You wrote most of this album here, correct? Um, I wrote it actually some in Brooklyn and some in North Carolina and some here. I, I moved around a lot in that that phase. <laughs> you do have like Brooklyn burning. Yeah. Like Brooklyn's on Brooklyn's fire. Brooklyn's on fire. Yeah. Um, was that real, by the way? What was that based no, on? No, it's based on, it's actually a love song for my best friend when I met her at, on the rooftop of a, a party in Brooklyn on 4th of July. So Brooklyn's on fire is like the fireworks and it's just about being like in your early 20s and going out to parties with bruises on your legs and not caring and, you know, being young. In terms of um, identity, you have traveled a lot, but you've always harkened back to New Jersey as being your home. What gives Jersey such a bad rap? And <laughs> Bon Jovi. <laughs> You know, I live here just because I, I, it's, it's good for me right now. I'm trying, I, I'm traveling a lot for touring and it's nice to be able to come home somewhere that is a little bit desolate. So I can think. When I moved out of here when I was 17, it was like, oh, get me away from this place. I hate it, you know? And, um, I just always, I was completely nomadic, you know? I was like, let's go to Europe. Let's go to the South. Let's go to New York. Blah, blah, And, uh, when I moved back here, it was hard for me because I was like, oh man, I'm one of those people that goes away and just comes back again. And it's not like that. You know, a lot of the things that I talk about in my album, you know, it was a year and a half ago. Things are a little different now. You know, I'm not, you know, freaking out about love or about my town anymore. I've kind of reached a peace with both of those things. So.